Hello everybody. Welcome to the Biker Baker and Mr. Smith show. We are doing strawberry rhubarb crumble today. Myself, I have never eaten rhubarb. Um, Billy has, I have not. Um, my mom used to, to use it, make it, grow it, all that good stuff, but I had never tasted it. So, this is going to be a first for me all the way around. We're going to make it in my 10-inch iron skillet. I already got it greased up, put some oil in there, which it's seasoned good anyway, but I always like to start with a little bit of oil. So, we've got two cups of strawberries. You can use fresh, you can use frozen. I'm using frozen. And two cups of rhubarb cut up. It's kind of like celery when I was cutting it. It's all stringy. Billy tasted it. He's like, I don't remember it tasting like that. But, you know, when you're a kid, things taste a little different. It was more sour when I was a kid. And things happen. And I just eat it raw. So. Yeah, he just took a big old chunk out of it. <laughs> all right. So a half a cup of white sugar going in. Eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Mm -mm -mm. Bam! I don't know what an eighth is, but close enough. It's not very much. And cornstarch, one and a half tablespoons. So let's see what we can get. There's one tablespoon. And we're just going to guess about a half right there. All right. That's all that's going in the bottom of it. So we're going to mix this all up. I know people say strawberry rhubarb pie is delicious. So we're making a crumble. It might be more like a, I don't know, I'm putting oats in the top of it. It didn't call for oats, but we're having like a crumble and then I'm, I'm going to slip some oats on there. So mix that all up. We're going to pour that into my skillet. And we got it set at 375 degrees. Smells good. Them strawberries in there. All right. That's that part of it. So no liquid or nothing in it? Them it makes its own, yeah, don't it? It will make its own liquid. All right. So now we're going for the topping. Let me put my recipe up here. We've got three quarters cup of flour, all purpose flour. Third cup of packed brown sugar going in. Three tablespoons of white granulated sugar. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Ah! I just, look at me, I don't have my measurer out. Measuring spoons. Eighth a teaspoon of salt again. Bam, loving it. And six tablespoons of cold butter. So, and I've got it kind of chopped a little bit here. Let's mix some of this up. Get her all mixed up first. We'll have to use our hands to get that butter all chopped up in there. Guys, can you tell she loves her new salt and pepper shakers? <laughs> like I said, I've got carpal tunnel on this right hand. I get get uh, shoots of electricity it feels like all the way through it and I, I don't even have a thumb it feels like sometimes I can't open my pop I have to have Billy open my pop she's very thankful for the gift yes I am so am I <laughs> I like using it as well all right we're going to have to get in there with the hands and get that up. Now, if you have like one of them pastry, yeah, that one of those. Yeah, well, those things. <laughs> I got one, but I'm just going to do it like this. Because that's how you roll. I do. Anybody else made strawberry rhubarb pies or crumbles or cake or something um let me know how you like it i've always heard people say that it's so good i have not heard anybody say it wasn't but it's just something i never thought i'd try but hey 
we're going crazy today. It's like, I'm going to try something different. All the stuff I make, and Billy gets a pecan cinnamon roll at Amish. Not just a roll, but a, a tray of them. I'm like, why? All the stuff I make. Hey, don't be telling on me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you guys know he loves him some sweets. That's why he likes me. Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I have to beg for it sometimes. Yeah, right. <laughs> you get it easily. <laughs> I'm going to pour in some oats, too. Just because I can. I don't know how much. Just That was probably about a quarter cup, maybe. And then we're just going to sprinkle this on top of this mixture. Well, that seems pretty simple. It is so simple. And at a wow. 375 degree oven, and you can make this in a 9 by 9 or an 8 by 8 pan. It smells so good, though. So no crust or nothing. It just, wow. It's a crumble. It's not a pie. Mm-hmm. I see this. Like a cobbler or something. Look at all this topping. Wow. That's a lot of topping. <laughs> <laughs> that crunch of the topping is what I like, though. I know. You'll like that. With all that butter in there, that ought to make it good. All right, guys. Just like that. We're going in the oven. And I'll let you know how long it takes and show you when it comes out. Be right back. All right, guys, the strawberry rhubarb crumble was in the oven for exactly 45 minutes. All right, here's what we got. There's what the bottom is. It smells so good up in here, guys. Oh. And doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of turning it upside down so we can see the bottom, too. A little bit on the top. All right, we're going to give this a try. I said I've never had strawberry rhubarb before. And I got a little dab of ice cream because this this baby's hot. Look at that steam coming it, off It there. just came out of the oven. So at 375, this is what you get. Um, what do you call a fake noodle? What do you call a fake you noodle? You don't know. An impasta. <laughs> oh, I had to. Mama got jokes. <laughs> Not dad jokes. <laughs> Mom jokes. Maybe a lot of jokes because I'm kind of putting off taste in this. But I know it's going to be good. It smells delicious. My mom would be proud trying something different. Some rhubarb. <laughs> even though it's cooked. And it's got strawberries in it. Mm-hmm. That is good, guys. I never had strawberry rhubarb before. Oh, it's so good. See what you were missing out on? Mm. Oh. It always pays to try something new. I know. I'm learning. I do try stuff new now. Because mm. you never know what might be really delicious. Just because it doesn't sound that good. Um, to me, rhubarb. Yeah. I'm thinking, how can rhubarb be a dessert? But it is. I had uh, somebody tell me that they loved strawberry rhubarb pie. I was like, mm. and they even sell it in the stores. I mean, it is a thing. I bet it's not this good. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not, but oh my gosh, guys. Look at me. I'm even taking more than one bite. Mm, so good. All right. I'll leave the ingredients in the description box for strawberry rhubarb Crumble. And it's so good, guys. That's a mouthful. <laughs> I have to kind of look because, you know, I get mixed up. Um, I might make, because um, I have some more rhubarb left over, so I might do another recipe with rhubarb. Or you can always freeze it and um, chop it up and freeze it. So you might do that. Vacuum seal it for another one later. But Would it be good in soup? Oh, I don't know. May have to try that. May yeah. have to look up to see if we can soup it. <laughs> all right guys so like comment share subscribe please and help us grow you guys are doing a fantastic job um 
And thanks for watching the Biker Baker and Mr. Smith Show. Peace out, guys. Strawberry rhubarb crumble. Mm. It smells delicious. <laughs>